father-in-law Kaido's monster cells create the strongest beasts. 151. Eye popping, the world's first beauty queen shyly shook hands with a man, and, just as Liu Oxing expected, Empress Boa Hancock arrived at Impel Down, the great underwater prison under the leadership of Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel. On the sea to Impel Down, there is a gate of justice with a spiral current. Without the Marines' consent, ordinary people's boats would be carried around in place by the spiral currents, and would never reach Impel Down. That's why Liu Oxing asked Hancock to help directly use the recording pointer to record the location information, and then use any door to shuttle, saving a lot of trouble. The Empress is still arrogant and indifferent. She got off the nine snake pirates and landed on the ground of Impel Down. Although Impel Down is known as the Great Underwater Prison, the entrance is still on the sea, just the main part of the prison, built under the sea. After all, the Empress is the seven warlords of the sea, and she is the most beautiful woman in the world, so Impel Down officials, big and small, all run to the entrance to greet them as long as they are idle. The leader is Magellan, the Warden's poisonous fruit ability. Magellan's poisonous fruit can be said to be quite powerful and its strength is comparable to Admiral's. In the original book, it almost killed Blackbeard and his party. But the poisonous fruit has a side effect, that is, it will make him have diarrhea. 24 hours a day, more than 15 hours, Magellan spent in the toilet. Magellan led the deputy warden and others to welcome the arrival of the 217 emperors. The officials of these prisons, when they saw it, all had red eyes and a fascinated expression. Even Magellan himself is no exception. In the entire Impel Down, the only person who can reach the beauty of the Empress is probably Shara of the Rain who only likes to kill. But Shara didn't come. Shara was locked up by Magellan for killing a prisoner without authorization. Magellan and Shara of the Rain, two iron walls known as Impel Down. Now that one is locked by the other, the iron wall is naturally no longer so rigid. Magellan forcibly restored his heart and eyes, but he still had some self-control. Magellan respectfully said, Please, Lady Empress, follow me to the sixth floor to see the fire fist ace, but only you are allowed to enter. And we have to carry out certain inspections. 99. Impel Down management is extremely strict. Although it is impossible for the Empress to rob prison, these necessary procedures cannot be omitted. In the original book, the straw hat Luffy hid in the Empress clothes and was not found. Marine Flying Squirrel and Warden Magellan, with no attitude, respected the Empress very much. But the Empress still had a high expression on her face. She didn't appreciate it at all, and said arrogantly, Why did the concubine go to the sixth floor? Question mark. Flying Squirrel and Magellan expressed confusion. Didn't you ask to see Fire Fist Ace yourself? This is a condition for you to accept Marine summoning order. Flying Squirrel couldn't help but said, Pirate Empress, aren't you going to see Fire Fist Ace? Add. When the Queen heard this, she sneered disdainfully, What kind of thing is Fire Fist Ace? And it's worthy to let my concubine go to see it. Flying Squirrel, Magellan colon 99. The Navy and prison officials behind the two were more red-hearted and shouted obsessively, Lord Empress is too sassy. Good hockey. There is no man for Mrs. Empress to meet. Flying Squirrel and Magellan were even more speechless. The Flying Squirrel said angrily, Are you kidding us, Pirate Queen? You know, in order to let the Empress come to see Ace, the Flying Squirrel called Marshal Sengoku and arranged a lot of things up and down. Impel Down is to come up with such a big welcome battle. As a result, the Empress disappeared when she said no. Is this such a willful and unreasonable woman? A, eh, there really is. The Empress is the most beautiful woman in the world. Such an unreasonable woman. The Empress held her chin high and pointed at the Flying Squirrel, Magellan and others with a gesture of extreme contempt. The concubine is playing with you. But even so, you must forgive the concubine, because the concubine is as beautiful as a god. These extremely rude words, uttered from the Queen's mouth, are so natural and reasonable. Marine and prison officials all shouted, My Lady Empress, forgive you and forgive you. No matter what you do, we will forgive you. 9. Magellan's eyes also turned into red hearts again. No way. The Empress's arrogant and contemptuous gesture is so beautiful. The Flying Square had no choice but to stick the knife in his feet again. He was afraid that the world's number one beauty, who was extremely self-willed and self-righteous, suddenly turned them all into stone with Marimaramello, and that would be the end. The Empress brushed her hair, and her expression became even more indifferent and contemptuous. She was standing on the ground at the entrance to impel down, neither going in nor going back, and no one knew that she was holding a record pointer under her wide sleeve. The Flying Squirrel said there was nothing he could do. He has nothing to do with the pirate empress, and can only accompany him here. Magellan slapped himself several times, finally getting his eyes back. Goo goo tilde. The stomach growled again. Magellan clutched his stomach and said, Since Lady Empress is no longer going to see Fire Fist Ace, then I will take my leave. 35. After he finished speaking, he rushed to the toilet for a while. The scene was eerily quiet. The Empress stood proudly in place. A group of sailors and prison officials were red-eyed and intoxicated. The flying squirrel held the knife and inserted the foot and his face was ugly, but he was helpless. Fortunately, 
This kind of scene didn't last long. After the Empress recorded the pointer, she turned around and left. Where are you going, Pirate Empress? Add. The Flying Squirrel shouted. No matter how self-willed you are, you must go to the Marine Headquarters to attend the Shikai Bukai meeting, or you will still be stripped of your Shikai Bukai title. The Empress did not look back and said coldly, it's not your turn to take care of the concubine's affairs. The Flying Squirrel was about to continue, when the two sisters of the Queen said, don't worry, Marine, since Big Sister has agreed, she will definitely not break her promise. The Flying Squirrel gave up. He looked at the back of the Nine Snakes pirate ship leaving, and sighed. This task was really not easy. Knowing this, he would rather travel thousands of miles to the New World to find that Hawkeye than to find the pirate Empress. Exhausted, he returned to the Marine Headquarters in a disheartened manner with his idiot-like subordinates. Perfume Swimming Snake Marigold asked curiously, Sister, our direction is the Sabadi Archipelago, why are we going there? Liu Xing called the Empress, only the Empress knew, and no one else knew. The arrogant Queen, of course, would not say that she was going to call Liu a crossing. She said lightly, I heard that there are a lot of strange things on the Sabadi Archipelago. Don't you plan to check it out? Marigold and Sanderson ear looked at each other. When did the elder sister have such a leisurely mood? But they dare not ask more. After all, with the beauty of the elder sister, everything is right. After half a day, Fragrance Snake arrives at Sebadi. The Empress did not go up, but waited at the port. Around the port, many ships have been parked, many of which are pirate ships. There are even some pirate ship logos that appear frequently in recent newspapers. Marigold looked at the pirate ships and said, these seem to be the ships of those rookie pirates. Many of them have a bounty of over 100 million. They are called some extremely evil supernovas. The Empress didn't respond as if she hadn't heard it. Her mind wasn't here at all. Beneath her calm surface, her heart was beating very fast. Because of her observation Haki, she had already faintly felt that the man's breath was rapidly approaching her. The Queen's heart was like a deer, and she raised her eyes to look at the sky. The three shadows quickly approached the perfume snake, who, the members of the nine snake pirates also noticed at this moment and hurriedly took up their weapons to be on guard. When the shadow approached, it turned out to be three beast-like robots. On the backs of the beast robots, three men stood each. One of them, a tall and handsome man, jumped aboard the perfume snake with just a few steps, add, and walked straight towards the Empress. The members of the nine snakes were shocked and shouted, Don't get close to Lady Empress. My Lady Empress is not something that a man like you can approach. Empresses are notoriously disgusting with men. Generally, if a man approached her within ten steps, he would only end up turning into a stone. At this moment, a large number of people attracted by the beauty of the Empress also gathered on the shore of Sebadi land. The most beautiful woman in the world is the center of attention wherever she goes. Seeing Liu Oxing walking towards the Empress, they all gloated and said, that's the pirate Empress, she doesn't show any mercy to men, that guy is dead. Although the Empress is beautiful, she must have a life to enjoy. If I could kiss fangs of Lady Empress, I would be willing to die. Dream you. You will only turn into stone. Under the eyes of countless people watching jokes, Liu Xing stopped when he was only two steps away from the Empress. He did not turn into stone, and the Empress did not scold him. The onlookers were stunned. And then, there was a scene that shocked their eyes 5.4 and dropped their jaws. I saw that tall man stretched out a palm towards the Empress and said with a smile, Long time no see, Hancock? Question mark. Is he going to shake hands with the Empress? He even called the Queen's name Hancock. This is simply courting death. But, but the supreme, noble, and disgusted female emperor, why did she seem to show a shy expression and put her slender hand in the palm of that man? Is Lao Tzu dreaming? Click tilde, hearts are broken. The most beautiful woman in the world, how can she get so close to a man, how can she not refuse a man's handshake? It doesn't make sense, it's not fair. Why do we get close to the empress and end up turning into stone, but that man has nothing to do? While the onlookers were dumbfounded, they were even more angry, as for the perfume you serpent. The crew members of the Empress also looked like they had seen a ghost, their eyes widened and their mouths open. Lady Empress, how could it be possible to shake hands with a man? Incredible, unbelievable. A doubt immediately flooded into everyone's mind. That is the man who made Lady Empress approach and shake hands with her for the first time in history. Who is it? 152. The sensational Sabadi land. The vicious supernova. The Marine Admiral is about to strike. Add. Liu Xing actually not only wanted to shake hands with the Empress, but also wanted to hold the Empress in his arms. But he didn't want to be offended by the beauty. The Empress' childhood experience made her seem hard and indifferent on the outside, but she actually has a very fragile side, and she is very sensitive in all aspects of self-esteem and restraint. Liu Xing can't be impatient, otherwise it will be counterproductive. Therefore, even though he was holding the Empress's smooth, creamy hand, Liu Xing only shook it lightly and let go. Liu Xing said, there are so many people with mixed A's, let's go to the island and talk about it. The queen nodded obediently. Her delicate and flawless face was slightly red, and her heart was beating very fast. Although this was the first time she saw Liu Oxing's true face, 
she was still sure at a glance that the man in front of her was the man in her dream. The queen deer rammed around, feeling dizzy, biting his lower lip, he forced himself to calm down. She ordered the rest of the nine snakes to stay on board, with only two younger sisters, Marigold and Sanderson ear. Unlike others who were extremely shocked and puzzled, Marigold and Sanderson ear quickly guessed Liu Ok Sing's identity through the performance of the Empress, Liu Ok Sing's voice and body breath. I didn't expect the true face under the mask of the evil ghost Brajna to be so handsome and handsome. 99. Marigold and Sanderson ear, almost invariably thought, I'm afraid my elder sister will fall to the bottom of the 18th now. The two were mixed. The joy is that Liu Ok Sing's strength, identity and appearance are all worthy of their elder sister. The worry is that Liu Ok Sing already has a wife, and she is also the daughter of Kaido of the Beasts. Liu Ok Sing and Hancock went to the island side by side. The onlookers on the shore were extremely curious about Liu Ok Sing's identity. But before they could get close to Liu Ok Sing, several huge thunderbolts suddenly fell from the sky. With a sneering voice, you mortal ants, dare to offend the young master? It is Enl. The crowd was horrified. Thunder, the power of Tanwai. Add, they never imagined that a follower beside this man actually possessed such terrifying strength. It's no wonder that the world's number one beauty is so close. This man is definitely a great person. People were scared like tigers and hurried to hide away. The three Cybertronians fell, with Zora and Enl following behind Liu Ok crossing. The two sisters of the Empress looked at the Cybertronians in amazement, and Zora and Enlin in amazement. The two knew that all the well-known powerhouses in the Hundred Beasts group had three disasters and flew bow, but Zora and Enl are clearly not. Judging from the thunder that Enl just sent out, this person's strength must be quite terrifying. The Hundred Beasts are really hiding dragons and crouching tigers, and Liu Ok Sing, who can make these dragons and tigers obedient, is so terrifying that it is unimaginable. Will it be a disadvantage for my elder sister to be with this man? Both were even a little concerned about this aspect. A bizarre scene in Sabadi Archipelago. A pair of handsome men and beautiful women walked in the front side by side. The male Ying Wai is unfamiliar, the female is peerless and everyone knows, she is the most beautiful woman in the world. The two were followed by the Empress' two younger sisters, as well as two tall and mighty men. The image of the two men is also very strange. A green algae head with three knives around his waist. A grey-white body with an arrogant expression, looking at the people around him. It is like a god looking down on mortals. At the end of the team, there are three huge robots. The dark metal structure and the black hole made people shudder. Such a team, even in the crowded and ubiquitous Sabadi archipelago, was the first time ever. In the hidden corner, in the surrounding attic, countless curious eyes were directed towards this team. Someone whispered, who is that man? And why is he so close to the world's most beautiful woman? The guy with the green algae head and grey skin in the back has a strong aura, so it's not easy to mess with. And those three robots? Too weird. They were too curious about the identities of Liu Ok Sing and others, but they dared not approach them at will. Because just now, there was a guy who didn't have long eyes. He was only within 100 meters of the team, and the guy with grey skin was burned into charcoal with thunder. Add, no one dared to act rashly. In a tall restaurant, a carefree woman with pink hair was eating frantically. Not far from her. There was a middle-aged man in black with a cigar. The middle-aged man in black looked at the team outside the window and said to the big stomach girl, Want to follow, Jewelry Bonnie? This group of people is not easy. 35. The woman is Jewelry Bonnie, one of the most evil supernovas, and the middle-aged man in black is another supernova gangster, Capone Big. Jewelry Bonnie says, Why, a villain like you also fell in love with the world's number one beauty. Capone Big sneers, No, I care more about her being a powerful Shikai Bukai than the title of the most beautiful woman in the world. Besides, that man is the most important. 95. Jewelry Bonnie laughed. The old lady thinks so too. Let's take a look. What is the origin of these people? The two supernovas formed the short-lived alliance in a few words, following Liu Ok Sing and others far behind, on a roof somewhere else. Then there are four supernovae standing there. They are the long-handed Haming Skilich Manapu, the fortune teller Basil Hawkins, the Sky Island Strange Monk Aeror Uj, and the former Marine Rear Admiral Smith Dart Drake. Apu was the first to laugh. The Sabadi Archipelago, the only place to go to the New World is really crowded with strong people. Shikai Bukai, the mysterious man and robot, is really interesting. Munker or Uj said, why, you are very interested in them. Then I advise you to put your mind aside, that gray-skinned guy, if I read correctly, should be the god of Sky Island. 35. Er or Uj is a Sky Islander, although not the same Sky Island as Enl. But he has traveled many places in Sky Island, seen Enl's portrait, heard of Enl's name. Apu's expression changed slightly. God, is it so terrifying? How terrifying is that man who makes the gods surrender? Er or Uj said, so I told you to put your mind to it. Apu did not believe in evil, and asked Hawkins, hey, Hawkins, can't you divination? If we face that group of people, what are the odds of winning? Hawkins took a few cards and turned them around in front of him. Add, his pupils shrank suddenly, showing horror. The odds of winning are zero. It's impossible. Did you calculate it wrong? 
calculated again. After several calculations in succession, the result is the same. Hawkins' face was full of fear, and he hoarsely said, the odds of winning are zero, the survival rate is zero, and the escape rate is also zero. As soon as these words came out, everyone 217 took a deep breath. These are three zeros are too scary. Appy reluctantly smiled and said, Hawkins, you genius, is the calculation accurate? 35. While X Drake was shocked, a name suddenly appeared in his mind. Hundred beasts consort, five emperors Liu Oxing. As Marine's secret spy, he knows more about Liu Oxing. He recognized the three Cybertronians who had wiped out Marine's ten pacifists in Punk Hazard. Undoubtedly, the man who brought the Pirate Queen close to him and surrendered to the God of Sky Island was probably the mysterious five Emperor Liu Oxing. Drake instantly realized that this was a good opportunity to capture Liu Oxing. After all, Liu Oxing's bounty can be as high as three billion baileys and the reward for catching alive is 5 billion baileys. Liu Oxing is enough to be called the number one enemy of the world government, along with the four emperors and the leader of the revolutionary army, Long. Whether it's him or not, I have to tell Marshal Sengoku about it and have Sengoku send Marine Admiral here. With a decision in mind, Drake immediately began to act. Hey, Drake, where are you going? Appu called from behind. Drake doesn't even head Kaido. I plan to meet those guys. If you cowards are afraid, then run away. Drake was deliberately provoking Apu et al. These vicious supernovas are also a threat to the world government. It would be best for the admiral sent by Sengoku to catch them all in one go. Sure enough, Apu, Aero Uj, and Hawkins were all stimulated and didn't want to be cowards. Several people discussed, look at the situation in Sebadi first, and if things change, it won't be too late to slip away. 153. Sengoku's shock, Garp's lament, Admiral Kizaru dispatched. Ad, Drake came to a hidden corner. After looking around, making sure no one could see him. He took out a small black phone bug from his pocket. This phone bug is encrypted and cannot be tapped. Drake called Marine Sengoku. Sengoku was in the marshal's office at the moment, his brows furrowed. He was thinking about the upcoming battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. There are many things to deploy. The New World side can't let their guard down, especially the strongholds of the Beast's Pirates. Wanokini, Dress Rosa, Punk Hazard, have to be watched 24 hours a day prevent the beast's pirates from doing something small when marine can't get away. I have to say that Sengoku deserves the title of the resourceful general. He is very military and strategic. It has been guessed that the beast's group may take the opportunity to make trouble. But unfortunately, he didn't know that Liu Oxing had invented the random door, and he didn't know that Liu Oxing had conquered Moria and the zombie army under her command. Therefore, Sengoku stared at Wanokini, Dress Rosa, and Punk Hazard, but was completely defenseless against the terror bark. While thinking about it, the phone worm suddenly rang. Sengoku was taken aback. He recognized the phone bug, which belonged to Drake. As one of Marine's most important and secretive spies, Drake has a tough job. Not only have to stare at those wicked supernovas, but after arriving in the New World, they have to try their best to break into the Hundred Beasts. For this reason, the devil fruit that Drake eats is in the form of dragon dragon fruit, ancient species, and a Lasaurus very much in line with the style of the Hundred Beasts. Drake is thoughtful and flexible, and when he called at this time, he must have something important to report. Sengoku didn't dare to neglect, and quickly answered the phone. It's the old man, tell me, what's the matter? Drake said in the same short voice, Marshal Sengoku, I found a man suspected to be the five emperor Liu Oxing in Sebadi. What? Ad. Sengoku was shocked and stood up straight, he almost lost his voice. Are you sure? How many are there in the beast's pirates? What are they going to do? 35. It's almost certain, because I saw three Cybertronians who defeated the pacifists in the first place. Drake replied. There are not many people in the Hundred Beasts, and the suspected Five Emperor Liu Oxing only brought two attendants. However, Bower Hancock, the Pirate Queen, is messing with him. Hearing this, Sengoku was relieved. The reason why he was so shocked just now was mainly because Liu Oxing personally led the group of beasts to attack Sebadi Archipelago. But the other side only brought two people and three Cybertronians. Obviously, it was impossible to attack Sebadi land. As for One Piece and Liu Oxing getting mixed up, Sengoku is not too surprised. After all, the Empress attended Dress Rosa's fairy bin auction, and she must have met the Beast Consort. Sengoku's mind turned sharply. He couldn't understand how Liu Oxing quietly left Wanokini and arrived at Sebadi Archipelago. Marine has so many spies in New World, but no one has found it. And what are they going to do when they go to Sebadi Archipelago with only so many people? Sengoku frowned. Drake's voice added, Marshal Sengoku, please come here Marine Admiral. This is a good opportunity to capture the five Emperor Liu Oxing. Hearing this suggestion, Sengoku quickly agreed. No matter what Liu Oxing did in Sebadi, the guards around him were the laxest at the moment. Kaido of the Beasts, Fire Beasts, and others are all in New World, and it is impossible to support them in a short time. This is the best chance of a lifetime to capture Liu Oxing. If it wasn't for a war with Whitebeard, Sengoku would have wanted to send all the three admirals out, 
and definitely capture that five Emperor Liu Oxing. Liu Xing's heaven-defying inventions are too great a threat to Marine and the world government. Sengoku told Drake to keep staring at Liu Xing, don't lose it. Then he called the three Admiral, Crane, Gub, and Bartholomew Bear, and told them Drake's information. Several people were shocked. Ad. The hot-tempered Ake Ainu was the first to exclaim, Old man go and kill that guy. If this person is not eliminated, the world will never have peace. 55. Killing Liu Xing is not only to kill the world but also to avenge himself Ake Ainu. Ake Ainu has never forgotten that in the last battle against Dress Rosa, he was seriously injured by Jin, Quinn, and Jack. The soldiers were even more dead and wounded. How can you not hate with Ake Ainu's character? The reason why the three calamities have such combat power lies in the monster cells invented by Liu Oxing. Therefore, it can be said that the real enemy of Ake Ainu is Liu Oxing. Sengoku, however, rejected Ake Ainu's invitation to fight, saying, War with the Whitebeard Pirates is imminent, say Keizuki. Your abilities are crucial in the old man's plan, and you cannot leave Marine headquarters. The same is true for Kuzin. 35. Sengoku's plan for the summit war was to lure the white pirates into Marinford Harbor, and then raise a sea stone wall around the port to surround the white pirates. Then let Ake Ainu use Meteor Volcano to form a trend of closing the door and hitting the dog, annihilating all the white groups in one fell swoop. The loophole in this plan is that Whitebeard cannot use the ability of shock fruit to cause a huge tsunami that floods the entire Marinford. Any plan would be ruined. To deal with a tsunami, Okiji's frozen fruit ability is needed. So, neither Ake Ainu nor Okiji can leave Marinford. In the next three Admiral, only Kizaru is left. Kizaru did not shirk, but stood up and said, Then let's go, old man. Last time in the Punk Hazard battle, Kizaru didn't do much, resulting in the destruction of ten pacifists. Kizaru is very interested in making Liu Oxing, the Cybertronian. If he can easily catch Liu Oxing. Kizaru doesn't mind doing it. But if you want to fight to the death, Kizaru said that the old man's waste is not good, but he can't compare to the young man. Sengoku doesn't know what kind of virtue Kizaru is, but only Kizaru is free. Sengoku thought about it and said, 66 inches Xio, you should go to Seibadi land with Kizaru too. Add, Crane agreed. Sengoku actually wanted Garp to go too, but Garp's mind is not here at all. Ever since Firefist Ace was caught, Garp has been in a low mood and in a trance. Sengoku more or less guessed the relationship between Garp and Ace. Garp suddenly said, Sengoku, I want to go to Impel Down to see Ace one last time. Don't worry, I won't do anything out of the ordinary. Sengoku's sharp old eyes stared at Garp, knowing that the latter wasn't lying. He thought about it and said, Garp, I believe you know the meaning of the word justice behind your back. Go to Impel Down to see Firefist Ace, and bring him to Marinford by the way. 35. Garp nodded silently, with a mournful face and turned away. Things are settled. Ake Ainu and Okiji stay at Marinford. Kizaru and Crane went to Seibadi to capture Liu Oxing, the five emperors. Garp goes to Impel Down to escort Firefist Ace. Everyone left. On the marine warship heading to Seibadi land, Tyrant Bear was among them. Kizaru said in surprise, Xa, are you also going to meet the five emperors? The bear was silent. He said, Bear, with your ability, it will be of great help to this capture. The bear still didn't speak. He didn't actually want to participate in the capture of Liu Oxing but to help another person, a pirate. Straw Hat Luffy Bear has always been following the movements of the Straw Hats, knowing that they are also in Seibadi at the moment. Now that Marine Admiral Kizaru and the Great Staff Crane, plus so many pacifists and marines, are out, the Dragon Sun will be in great danger. As a revolutionary army carder, Xan wants to help Monkey D. Long one last time before he completely loses his personality. 154. Liu Oxing's overall plan, all celestial dragons will die. Add, how could Liu Oxing not know that he would stand with the Empress who is the most beautiful woman in the world with such a big fanfare, and he would definitely be watched by everyone. Say buddy archipelago is very close to Marine's headquarters, and I don't know how many Marine spies are arranged on it. Maybe someone recognized Liu Oxing's identity through the Cybertronian. But Liu Oxing still didn't care and went his own way. This is quite different from his previous style of secret actions. There are two main reasons for this. One reason is that the summit war is about to break out, and the huge war started by the Hundred Beasts is about to kick off. Liu Oxing has no need to hide. In this huge war, he will openly challenge Marine and the world government. Another reason is that Liu Oxing was deliberately trying to attract Marine's attention. Liu Oxing's plan this time is to fight on two fronts. The front line is the old father in law Kaido and the Big Mom League occupying Whitebeard's territory in New World. The enemy they will face is probably only the Red-Haired Group. Although the Red-Haired Group is powerful, with the cooperation of Kaido and Auntie, it is impossible to successfully stop it as in the original work. Therefore, the battlefield of New World should be no problem. But the battle to capture the Seibadi archipelago led by Liu Oxing contained great danger, because Seibadi is too close to Marine's headquarters and Mary E. Joy's, the Holy Land on the Red Line. It is impossible to predict what kind of combat power Marine and the world government will send to prevent Liu Oxing from occupying the Seibadi land. 
Even with the white beard pirates dragging most of the marines on top, it is uncertain whether the world government has hidden top level combat power. Liu Xing must be thoughtful, otherwise, it will be dragged down by the hidden forces of the world government, and after the marine has dealt with white beard, they will come all over again. Then Liu Xing's situation is extremely dangerous. Although there are any gates that can leave the battlefield at any time, the plan to capture the Seibadi land will fall short. This is something Liu Xing cannot tolerate. Liu Xing came up with the method, that is, the sound of the east strikes the west, so it is suspicious. He wants to let Marine and world government don't know what he's going to do. First, he and the Empress appeared in Seibadi land, and when Marine learned of it, at least one admiral would be sent to capture him. Although admiral is strong, Liu Xing's strength plus Zora and Enlu who have eaten dragon level monster cells, are enough to easily deal with. Add, Liu Xing will get out after making a fuss about Seibadi, then use the record pointer stored by the Empress to go to impel down through any door. Marine certainly couldn't react at this point. Liu Xing made a big noise of impel down again, subduing the tens of thousands of criminals inside, especially the powerful villains in the sixth floor eternal hell. After success, Liu Xing's power and strength will skyrocket. It is estimated that Marine will only get the news of Impel Down at this time. Sengoku and the Five Elders will definitely have a big earthquake and will hurriedly send people to Impel Down. But I'm sorry, they're going to run for nothing, because Liu Xing will pass through any gate again, and lead the tens of thousands of his new subordinates to return to Seibadi Land. Their zombie army on the terrifying three-masted ship will also join him, Pyf. When it is, Liu Xing holds tens of thousands of fierce troops, and there are many strong men such as Zora, N and the tyrannical villains on the sixth floor. Take the Seibadi archipelago in one fell swoop with all the odds surrounding Marine. This battle will be complete, and it will surely shake the world. This is Liu Ok Sing's overall plan. Marine Marshal Sengoku is known as the resourceful general, but he can only see the second or third floor at most. But Liu Ok Sing is directly above the tenth floor. In terms of foresight of the future and overall consideration, the two are completely different from each other. What does Sengoku do to fight him? Empress Boa Hancock would never have thought that the man who was smiling and talking to her at the moment had a strategy of taking over the world in his heart. Liu Xing also has no intention to show this to the Empress, and the Empress's mind is not on this either. The current thoughts of the two are actually somewhat similar. They all want to get closer to each other, and want to be closer to each other. So much so that the arms of the two were tightly attached to each other. But they didn't hold hands like a couple. Liu Xing doesn't want to be offended by the beauty. The queen's face was slightly red, her heartbeat was fast, but she still retained a trace of restraint and clarity. She has indeed fallen in love with Liu Xing, but she has not completely fallen. At this time, if Liu Xing did something as impatient as other men, it would probably arouse her disgust. Liu Xing is very restrained because he knows this. Now is not the time for him to be domineering. Add. Liu Xing smiled at the Empress and said, It's coming to the slave auction, which used to be Do Flamingo's property, where slaves of all races are said to be auctioned, even mermaids. 5. The Queen's hair was scattered on the tip of her hips, and she pursed her red lips and said, A mermaid, I have never seen a concubine, but no matter how beautiful it is, it will never be as good as a concubine. For beauty. The Empress has enough self-confidence and pride. She also has a proud capital. Judging from the bulging Chung Sam, the proud capital is still very large. Liu Xing suddenly remembered another woman who was bigger than Empress capital. The mermaid princess, Shira Hushi. Shira Hushi is mainly bigger than the Empress. What Liu Xing is particularly curious about is that Shira Hushi's mother, Princess Itashi, is obviously very thin, so how could she give birth to a daughter as big as Shira Hushi? It's amazing. Liu Xing plans to go to the Fishmen Island after finishing the war. After all, the Fishmen Island is under the Sea of Seibadi, very close, and it is also a site that must be occupied in a strategic position. This is something. It is only said that Liu Xing and the Empress walked into the slave auction. There are already many people sitting in the auction hall, and it is obvious that there will be a very valuable auction today. Liu Xing found an empty row and sat next to the Empress. The Empress' two younger sisters, Zora and Enlil would never sit in the same row with them but would sit elsewhere, as for the three Cybertronians, they are on guard outside the auction. Since Liu Oxing guessed that Marine would send Admiral over, he naturally wouldn't take any precautions. He sat with the Empress, his right leg was fitted with the Empress' left leg, and he could clearly feel the smoothness of the skin of the Empress' left leg. The tip of the nose can smell the sweet body fragrance from the Empress. Liu Oxing is very comfortable. The Empress trembled a little. For the first time in her life, she was so close to the opposite sex, which made her feel nervous and wonderful. At this time, after auctioning off a few precious items, the auction platform put on a large fish tank. There was a young girl mermaid in the fish tank. Add, wow! The entire auction hall suddenly became a sensation, and everyone's eyes flashed with excitement. Mermaid, I finally saw a living mermaid. Ha ha ha, so cute, that fish tail must be very slippery. Hey, why do you, a human, like mermaids so much? 
Do you want to have children with mermaids? How do people have children with mermaids? This is a very deep question. Liu Xing expressed that he was also very curious about this issue, and planned to have a chance to discuss it with Shira Hashi, the mermaid princess. The appearance of the girl mermaid made the atmosphere of the auction hall reach a climax in an instant. Prices rose at a terrifying rate. It wasn't until an ugly guy wearing a glass mask walked onto the auction stage that the warm atmosphere stopped for a moment. I'll pay 500 million baileys, this mermaid is mine, you bastards, you are not allowed to rob me. The ugly guy kept his nose and shouted arrogantly. The auction house, which was still in a lively atmosphere, fell silent in an instant. There are many people, and their faces are even paler. Because the ugly guy wearing the mask is actually the world noble Celestial Dragons. Celestial Dragons is the master of this world, the creator the descendant of the god of creation, who would dare to offend a celestial dragons. No one dared to bid. Charles Rose looked proudly at the audience in the audience, frightened by his celestial dragon's identity, then turned to the fish tank, revealing a disgusting pig brother, Little Mermaid, you will be the slave of this saint in the future. The girl mermaid was so frightened that her face was as pale as paper, and tears were streaming down her face. Auditorium. Liu Xing noticed that the moment Charles Rose appeared, the muscles of the left leg of the empress who was close to him immediately tightened. At the same time, the jade hand of the empress also clenched into a fist, and her body trembled faintly. Do you remember the tragic experience of your childhood? Liu Xing's eyes couldn't help but be full of love and pity. He suddenly stretched out his big hand, wrapped the empress' clenched fist, and comforted the empress in a calm but firm voice. Don't worry, Hancock, everyone who makes you feel uncomfortable will die. 155. Killing celestial dragons like slaughtering pigs and dogs. The love of the empress, kid and luffy, add. The female emperor's beautiful eyes flickered staring at Liu Oxing dazedly. For a moment, she had the urge to bury her head in Liu Oxing's arms. But she held back, and the Empress said, That's the Celestial Dragons, the nobles of the world, and if you kill them, the Marines and the world government will go crazy. Doesn't the Empress hate Celestial Dragons? Of course hatred, and this hatred is deep in the bones. The arrogance and arrogance of the Empress can be seen, but she has never attacked Celestial Dragons, and even became seven warlords of the sea. Shikai Bukai is nominally under Marine, who is under the jurisdiction of the world government which in turn is ruled by the Celestial Dragons. The Empress is equivalent to becoming a subordinate of Celestial Dragons in disguise. Why would the Empress who hates Celestial Dragons so much and is so arrogant? It's not because the world government's power is too strong. Once she does anything to kill Celestial Dragons, not only her, but the entire daughter-child country will suffer. The Empress is an arrogant person. Although she doesn't say it on the face, she still cares very much about her sister, the crew, and the citizens of the daughter country. She can't drag the entire daughter country into the abyss because of her own hatred. Similarly, she didn't want to drag Liu Xing down, so she just said that. Liu Xing said calmly, When I formed an alliance with you, my condition was to help you kill all celestial dragons, and I never regretted what I said. The female emperor's delicate body trembled slightly, and her beautiful eyes were complex, grateful, and moved. But she still slowly shook her head and said, Now is not the time to attack celestial dragons, you only brought two people and three robots? and this place is too close to marine headquarters. Once you kill celestial dragons, your identity will be exposed, and it is very likely that marine will besiege you. In the Empress's mind, Liu Oxing's safety is more important than her hatred of celestial dragons. Liu Oxing is very happy about this. Therefore, he has to do something for the Empress, so as to completely capture the heart of the beauty. Liu Oxing's big hand tightly wrapped the Empress's show fist, feeling the smoothness of the jade hand's skin, smiled and said, I don't seem to have shown you an arbitrary door. A door that can cross any distance at will. But you need to enter the location information of the target location inside the door, which is why I asked you to help record the coordinates of the impel down. In case Marine really disregards the Whitebeard pirates and comes out to catch me, I'll go straight back to Wanokuni through any door. 5. With any door, Liu Oxing can advance or retreat. If the Five Elders and Sengoku are really crazy, they desperately try to capture him regardless of the war with the White Tuan. Liu Oxing returned to Wanokuni. After Marine White makes a run, he goes through any gate to impel down, and then attacks Sebadi land. This is equivalent to walking the dog, and Master Liu Xing has absolute initiative. Add, with the intelligence of the Empress, she instantly understood Liu Xing's plan. Her beautiful eyes lit up, and she finally let go of her last worry. Suddenly, she remembered something. Liu Xing asked her to bring not only the coordinates of impel down, but also the coordinates of the daughter country. If any door can really reach the destination at will, then he, then is he thinking of going to the daughter country? Thinking of this. The queen's heart pounded and her face turned red. Being so close, he could clearly sense the empress' heart beat. The empress' blushing pretty face, peerless face, big watery eyes, bright red lips, and unparalleled black length and straightness all made him so moved. Liu Xing's throat rolled, 
The Empress was also aware of the domineering and desire in the A's of men. She was proud and shy, and a little nervous. Liu Xing put down the jade hand of the Empress. He was afraid that it would go on like this, and he really couldn't bear it. Liu Xing stood up and walked straight to the auction table. The female Emperor stared at the tall and majestic back of the man, her beautiful eyes full of love and emotion. For her sake, a man can even kill celestial dragons. On the auction table, Charles Ross was reaching out to the girl mermaid with a pig-like face but out of the corner of his eye he caught a glimpse of a figure walking towards him. Charles Rose was furious, a lowly inferior, dare to look directly at him, this noble celestial dragons, and dare to approach him. Charles Ross glared at Liu Oxing who was walking towards him step by step, what do you want to do, stay away from this saint, otherwise, this saint will make you a slave too. Liu Oxing's expression was light, and he said with a smile that was not a smile, noble celestial dragons, don't be so cranky. I just want to borrow something from you. At this time, the eyes of the entire auction hall were focused on Liu Oxing and Charles Ross. Hearing Liu Oxing's words, everyone was stunned. Borrow from Celestial Dragons, this guy is so daring. Charles Ross probably experienced such a thing for the first time, and he was dumbfounded and said, What do you want to borrow? Liu Oxing smiled and said, I will borrow your head. Zheng. His voice fell, and a pitch black sword light flashed in an instant. Dong 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 tilde. Add. Immediately, Charles Rose's head rolled to the ground like a rotten persimmon. His expression was still stunned, he didn't even have any fear, obviously he didn't react to the fact that he had dropped his head. Boom, the body of Charles Ross, who lost his head, was heavily smashed to the ground. Scarlet blood gushed out, and the pungent bloody smell filled the venue in an instant. What? Someone let out a huge scream. Celestial Dragons is dead, he killed Celestial Dragons. Marine will send Admiral here, run, run, otherwise we will all be implicated by that daring fellow. The auction hall was in chaos. People were terrified and scrambled to flee. A celestial dragons is killed, and it's going to be a mega event that shakes the world. Soon, there were only a few figures left in the crowded auction hall. Liu Xing looked over, and he knew all the other figures except himself. The Usters Kid Pirates who currently have the highest bounty for Supernova, and the Straw Hat Luffy who are favored by Destiny. Liu Xing just glanced at them and walked towards the other two. Those two people were impressively Charles Rose's father, Ross Wild Saint, and his sister. Xaluria Palace. The father and daughter did not seem to have recovered from the shock of Charles Ross being killed. They screamed in horror until Liu Oxing was about to approach them. Dot. Ask for flowers middle dot. Guard, where is the guard? Go get Marine Admiral over here and kill the bastard. 39. Come on, someone killed my son. We are Celestial Dragons. Ross Wild screamed wildly. The guards behind the auction platform hurried over. When they saw Charles Ross's body, they were horrified. While guarding the side of Ross Wild and Xaluria, he called and reported to the world government. A Celestial Dragons was killed, an event never seen before. Celestial Dragons? They're just mortals wearing glass masks. What's so strange about a god killing a mortal? Lightning flashes. Enel suddenly flashed before the guards. 30 million volt Thunderbirds. Add. The Thunderbird flew out, scorching the entire body of the guards with electricity. The remaining guards hurriedly attacked. Three Blades Tornado. A huge tornado sent the remaining guards flying into the sky. Zora took the bite of Hedoi's text and said with a smile. How can we let you little fellows disturb our king's work? Liu Oxing slowly paced to the front of the Ross Wild father and daughter under the clearing of Zora and Enl. His eyes were indifferent and condescending. The so-called celestial dragons, in front of him, are just like pigs and dogs, ants that can be trampled to death at will. Yang Mo waved in his hand, with a flash of sword light. The terrified Ross Wild and his daughter headed together. Behind, the kid and the straw hat crew have different expressions. Kid said to Kira, what the hell is that guy? Killing one celestial dragons wasn't enough killing all three. Kid himself is a good killer. The reason why his bounty is higher than that of Straw Hat Luffy is because he has killed too many people and made too many crimes. Kira, the swordsman, took a deep breath and said, Anyway, Captain, we can't stay here any longer. The Marine and the world government will go mad if they find out. At least send an admiral exclamation mark 35. Kid agreed, nodding in agreement. Straw Hat crew, Luffy exclaimed in surprise, I was planning to beat the mask guy but he was killed in the blink of an eye. Straw Hat Luffy is a fearless character. In the original book, he gave Charles Ross a punch. The black-footed Sanji next to him said, just kill those two bastards celestial dragons, and even kill women. With the world's most beautiful pirate queen, this man must have a lot of background. Sanji's chivalry is not to shoot women. Even if the opponent is the vile celestial dragons, even the four emperor's aunt is no exception. Frankie exclaimed suddenly, I may know who this man is. It's probably the legendary concubine of the beasts, Liu Ang Liu Oxing. 39. Bing Shan. The mayor of the Seven Waters. Do you still remember? He is my senior brother. Senior brother told me about Liu Ang Liu Oxing, and it was this man who stole my Pluton drawings. Gwing. 156. Rayleigh's panic. Liu Oxing wants to kill Destiny Child Straw Hat Luffy. Add. When he was in the Seven Waters that day, 
Jack knocked Frankie out and took him away. Therefore, Frankie did not see Liu Xing's real face, but his senior brother Bing Shan described Liu Xing's appearance in detail to him. After all, Liu Xing took away Frankie's Pluton drawing, which was crucial. When Frankie identified Liu Xing's true identity, Straw Hat Crew and Kid were all shocked. The legendary Five Emperors, Kid and Kira looked at each other with excitement in their eyes in addition to shock. Kid is a very ambitious man. The new world is coming soon, and his primary goal in entering the new world is naturally to dismount the Four Emperors and take the position himself. The Five Emperors, who are comparable to the Four Emperors at the moment, suddenly appeared in front of them. If he can defeat him, then his kid's reputation can be resuming in the new world in an instant. Kira saw Kid's thoughts and persuaded, this is not the time to set up a strong enemy. Three celestial dragons are dead, Marine Admiral will come soon. The strength of the five emperors can't be weak with two or three zeros. Although his two subordinates are not the three disasters and the flu bow, they are definitely very human. There is also the Shikai Bukai pirate empress, who is staring at her. 35. Kid, we should get out of here right now. Kira is far calmer than Kid, and he analyzes the situation clearly. Kid and Kira grew up together and trust Kira's judgment very much, but still a little unwilling to say. The opportunity to become famous is right in front of you, I really don't want to give up. Straw Hat Crew Luffy didn't have as many ideas as Kid, just touched the straw hat on his head and said, Is that the man who invented a lot of strange things? How amazing! 35 Under the watchful eyes of Kid and Straw Hat Crew, Liu Xing put away Yan Mo, without even looking at the three celestial dragon's corpses lying on the ground. It was as if a few insignificant ants had just been killed. He walked straight to the fish tank with the girl mermaid Kami, and said gently, You're free. Go back to the Fishmen Island. Add. Liu Xing has already planned to take the Fishmen Island into the sight of the Hundred Beasts, so naturally he will not do anything to Kami. Kami was stunned by what had just happened, but she finally knew that the man in front of her saved her. Kami quickly thanked. Thank you. Thank you. Liu Xing smiled slightly, then looked at the wall behind the auction table. A beast like aura came from there. Boom. The next moment, the wall was shattered. An old man with white hair and beard emerged from the ruins. The old man wears glasses and wears shabby clothes. But he has the temperament of a king, which exudes from himself. Kid's group, who had planned to slip away, was startled by this movement. Who is it? That's impossible. How could such a big man be here? 55. Kid's pupils contracted suddenly. The old man with white hair and beard is the right hand of Roger, Pluton Rayleigh. When I was inside, the old man felt a few strangely powerful breaths and a strong smell of blood. Rayleigh looked at Liu Oxing and the corpse of celestial dragons on the ground. His expression was unusually solemn. Kill the celestial dragons, you beasts pirates, are you ready to go to war with Marine and the world government? Obviously, Rayleigh also heard Frankie's words and knew Liu Xing's identity. Liu Xing said lightly, times are always changing, don't you think it's disgusting that these ugly, stupid celestial dragons have been on the top of the world for too long? Pluton Rayleigh? Rayleigh's expression grew graver. He had read a lot of news about the young man in front of him from the newspapers a long time ago. Invented monster cells, fairy bins and other heaven-defying props known as a greater scientist than Vegapunk. Under the guise of the fairy bin auction, killed off Lamenko and occupied Dress Rosa. After that, he captured Punk Hazard again, killed another Shikai Bukai crocodile, and even wiped out world government's secret agency CP9. This young man is a terrifying fellow with brains, skills, and strength. He must not be underestimated just because he is young. Ad really deeply understands this, and his attitude towards Liu Oxing at this time is as solemn and cautious as that of Kaido of the Beasts. He whispered Kaido. The world does need to be changed, but it's not you, nor the Kaido of the Beasts. Captain Roger told Rayleigh before he died, the one who will change the world in the future will definitely be a member of the D family, and he will definitely be the man who inherits his straw hat will. And the destined son of prophecy is also present at the moment. Rayleigh glanced at Luffy, at the straw hat on Luffy's head, with a sympathetic look. Roger passed the straw hat to Shanks, who eventually got Danica fruit, but it was accidentally eaten by Monkey D. Luffy. With a D in his name, he ate the fruit of Nika, the sun god and Shanks gave him Roger's straw hat. No doubt, this kid named Monkey Middle. D Middle. Luffy is the man who finally changed the world. Everything was predestined, and Rayleigh was convinced. However, Liu Xing scoffed at this. What the FK is destined to be? What is the difference between such a theory of fate, such a theory of bloodline, and celestial dragons, who were born to shit and urinate on the heads of all beings? What a boring idea. Liu Xing's mouth curled into a mocking arc, and he also glanced at Luffy, the straw hat, with a hint of playfulness. Pluton Rayleigh, you seem very convinced that this kid can change the world. Dot, 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 but what if I kill him now? As soon as this word comes out, Straw Hat Crew paled in shock. Sanji, Frankie, Usopp, and others were all tense, watching Liu Oxing alertly. Luffy himself, who was not afraid of the sky, also became heavy. Luffy is sometimes silly, but not naive. If the legendary Five Emperor Liu Oxing wants to kill him, 
He will face great danger. Rayleigh's expression was completely sinking, his eyes became extremely vigilant, and he said solemnly, that old man will use his life to guard the future fire. Rayleigh is planning to keep Straw Hat Luffy safe even if he takes his life. This was expected by Liu a crossing. Add, after all, the Straw Hat Luffy wears a straw hat, inherits the will of the so-called One Piece, and eats the Nika fruit. He is the son of destiny. There are too many auras and buffs on his body. Unfortunately, Liu Xing is a person who does not believe in fate. Liu Xing said playfully, then ask Senior Pluton Rayleigh and Straw Hat Luffy to die together. He slowly pulled out Yan Mo, as if he really wanted to kill Straw Hat Luffy. When he drew out Yan Mo, Enl, who couldn't hold back the urge to fight for a long time, immediately shouted, Master young master, leave this ignorant old man to me. 35. Zora also took out three knives and grinned. This time, I just wanted to test my cultivation results. It would be great to have the legendary Pluton Rayleigh as the test object. Boom. 5.4 The violent thunder and powerful sword in ten tries from the sky. The roof of the entire auction house was destroyed in an instant. Rayleigh's face changed abruptly. He had noticed that Zora and Enl were strong before, but he didn't expect to be so strong. Let him have an extremely dangerous premonition at this moment. Only these two people were enough to hold him back. And that five Emperor Liu Oak Sing will take the opportunity to kill Luffy. Can Luffy hold back? No. Impossible to stop. Yuang Liu Oxing is said to have mastered the entanglement of conquerors. How can Luffy, a hairy boy who doesn't even know what Hark is, can resist? The always calm and wise Pluton really couldn't help but feel anxious. Is Roger, Shanks' chosen heir, going to die here today? Will the sun god Nika be strangled in the cradle? Is Luffy not Joey Boy after all? At this moment, 157. CP0 is dispatched, the abacus of the five elders, the collision of conquerors. The supernovas are stunned. Add, when the atmosphere of the auction hall suddenly became extremely tense, the guards who had just protected the celestial dragons had a slip through the net. He crawled out crawling out, his face full of horror, and he took out a phone bug with trembling hands. As a guard guarding the celestial dragons, he has the phone of the five elders. The call was made directly to the five elders, Lord Five Elders, Saint Ross Wilde, Saint Charles Rose, and Xaluria Palace, all were killed, killed by that five emperor Liu Oxing. Between rights, the five elders immediately fell into the rage when they heard this. Their faces turned purple, and they slapped the table in front of them into powder. Bastard, to dare to kill celestial dragons in a grand manner under the eyes of this old man and others is simply too arrogant. The old man with a sword said, although three celestial dragons died, the Liu Oxing finally showed up, no longer hiding in one Okini, without the protection of Kaido of the Beasts, we finally had a chance to kill him. Another agreed, finally. I can complete the mission given by Msama. Call Sengoku immediately and have him send Admiral. I'm afraid one Admiral is not safe. It's better to go with three Admirals. This can't be done. The Whitebeard Pirates are coming. If all Admiral are sent out, Marinford will be in danger. Finally, the Five Elders decided to send CP0, the highest intelligence agency of the world government, to help Marine. CP0, known as the strongest shield of celestial dragons. Their boss is also a powerful figure no weaker than Marine Admiral. The five elders called Sengoku and learned that Sengoku had already dispatched Admiral Kizaru and the Great Staff Crane, and heard that Shikibukai's tyrant bear went with him. The five elders couldn't help but smile with satisfaction. With Kizaru, Crane, Bear, and the strongest CP0, this combat power can basically traverse the sea. And according to the report of the guards just now, on the Seibadi side, Wu Huang Liu Oxing only brought two unknown attendants, not the famous three disasters of Liu Pei. Comparing the combat power of the two sides, the government and marine have a great chance of winning. Oh, and the more difficult pirate empress, I heard that she was very close to the five emperors Liu a crossing. But if this woman doesn't want her daughter's country to be destroyed, she will never dare to blatantly oppose the government. The five elders consider themselves all factors taken into account. This time, Liu Oxing, the five emperors, will definitely be killed and a great threat to the world government will be removed. Add, Lord and will surely praise them. However, Sengoku, who received the call from five elders, was also extremely horrified. That man was too daring to kill celestial dragons directly, and one kill was three. Why did he dare to be so reckless, not afraid of marine and the government's pursuit? Sengoku frowned, vaguely feeling that something wasn't quite right. Speaking of which, Sengoku has had a feeling that something is not right since Drake received the news of Liu O-Crossing. Because Liu O-Crossing is too high profile in say buddy. He doesn't wear a mask, and he doesn't do anything to hide, which is obviously different from his previous style of doing things. That man, is he planning something? Sengoku has hidden concerns. But his head hurt, and he couldn't think of Liu Oak Sing's plan. After all, over Wanokini, Kaido of the Beasts didn't move. Dress Rosa and Punk Hazard's Beast Group did not move. With only five emperors, Liu Oak Sing, under the nose of the government and Marine, what big moves can they plan? Sengoku really couldn't understand. In desperation, 
he had to call the crane and tell the CPO that he would act with them. Sengoku even instructed Kizaru to do his best to keep Yuang Liuxing in Seibadi land, even if Kizaru's salary is increased tenfold, it is no problem. Kizaru's eyes lit up when he heard it. Yo, finally willing to give my husband a raise. That's all, the old man is marine after all, shouldering the duty of justice, so let's catch a few more pirates this time. So ever, Kizaru then instructed the helmsman to increase the speed of the ship to the fastest speed and rush to Seibadi with all his strength. At the same time, the CP0 starting from the Holy Land Mari E. Joys is also on the way, inside the Seibadi slave auction. Even if Liu Oksing didn't know what happened with Sengoku and the five elders. But guess what? Three celestial dragons are dead, and the old ones are going to go crazy. The powerful fighting force of Marine and the world government must have been rushing here. The time left for Liu Oksing is actually not enough. However, Liu Oksing's face did not show any strangeness, and he still had a playful arc that was half smile but not laughing. He walked towards Straw Hat Crew with Inma in hand. Ad Rayleigh was shocked. Stop, hum. A powerful aura suddenly rose from Rayleigh, and like a wave, it radiates around in circles. Is this Conqueror's Haki kid, who was about to slip away? felt his body sink suddenly. Kiro felt the same way, and he worried. The legendary Plutong Rayleigh and the five emperors Liu Oxing. If there is a war, Marine and the world government cannot sit idly by, and it is not advisable to stay here for a long time. At this time, the heavy pressure on them suddenly multiplied several times. It was really like a mountain, making it difficult for them to even walk. Impossible. A look of horror appeared in Kid's eyes, and he stared at the man holding Yan Mo. Is this the conquerors of the five emperors? which is stronger than the coercion of Pluton Rayleigh. 99. Yes, Liu Xing also broke out conquerors, against Rayleigh. Boom. Two extremely powerful conquerors, like two tigers, are colliding fiercely, in the air, a black-red airflow flickered. The huge air wave ripped apart the entire auction hall in an instant. Everyone was exposed to the sun. The people on Seibadi Archipelago suddenly saw the scene on the auction floor and were immediately stunned. And when they saw the bodies of the three celestial dragons, they screamed in fear and ran away. But it was too late. When Liu Oxing and Rayleigh collided with conquerors, they fell on their heads, and they fainted immediately. Only a few were able to stay awake. Among them were gangster Capone Big and Jewelry Bonnie. The two formed a brief alliance in the restaurant before and planned to visit Liu Oxing and the Empress, and they never imagined that the scene they saw was so shocking. Three world nobles, celestial dragons, have been killed. The legendary Pluton Rayleigh appears and fights against the mysterious man conquerors. Add, what's so special, the span of combat power is too big. Capone Bug snorted and stepped back quietly. He was only interested in Liu Oxing's identity before, so he came to see it with Bonnie. It can be seen that after realizing that Liu Oxing could compete with Pluton Rayleigh and conquerors, he knew that this man was not something he could mess with. 247. Big doesn't want to die in vain. Big stomach girl Bonnie is not stupid. This is a battle between the world's top powerhouses. Even if she is a supernova, she is not qualified to be involved at this time. On a roof not far behind the two of them, Arp, Erauj, Hawkins, and Drake, who had returned to follow, stood there. Apu swallowed. Just the momentum of conquerors is so heavy. Is this the strength of the Emperor of the New World? The strange monk Erauj forced a smile and said, After all, it is not surprising that he has such strength as the god of Sky Island. The man who surrendered to Enl. Hawkins is still playing his deck of tarot cards. Pluton Rayleigh survival rate, 70%. Mysterious and unknown man. The survival rate is 100%. Captain Kidd's survival rate, 20%. Straw Hat Luffy's survival rate, 1%. Our survival rate, 50%. After Hawkins finished his divination, he looked up at the three of Apu and said, We only have a 50% survival rate, and what we should do now is to get out of here! Exclamation mark 35. Hawkins' words made Apu and Ero Uj beat the drums in their hearts. Apu wiped his forehead and said in cold sweat, Hawkins, you are a genius, you know how to scare people with this stuff. Ero Uj also said, we will not participate in their battle, why is there only a 50% survival rate? The only Drake who didn't speak, knew that Hawkins wasn't intimidating, because among the four, only he, the marine undercover agent, knew Liu Oxing's true identity. This man who is called the Fifth Sea Emperor, no one knows how terrifying he is. 158. Straw hats in despair. Ghost swordsmen are off as Pluton Rayleigh. Add. Rayleigh's expression changed several times, sweat dripping from his face. In this conqueror's competition, he actually fell behind. And it was not his conquerors that destroyed the entire auction house with his aura, but Liu Oak sings, like Shanks, conquerors that can directly deal physical damage. Captain Roger, what a wonderful young man I have met. Rayleigh sighed in his heart. In fact, if it wasn't for Kazuki and being killed by Kaido of the Beasts, and Liu Oak Sing being Kaido's son in law, Firmly standing in the camp of the beasts, Rayleigh would not want to be an enemy of Liu Oxing. After all, he is old, Liu Oxing is a young man growing up normally. Even if he can outperform Liu Oxing now, it has no meaning for the future. Pity, he is different from Liu Oxing, 
and they do not conspire with each other. Liu Xing will also kill the heir of Roger's straw hat, the owner of the sun god Nika Fruit, the reincarnation of Joy Boy, and the son of faith that Pluton really agrees with, Monkey Middle Dot D Middle Dot Luffy, which is something that Rayleigh will never allow. Drink. Rayleigh snorted suddenly and released all the conquerors to stop Liu crossing. Straw Hat Crew, Usopp, whose legs were already weak, said, Luffy, run away, while the old man is still holding the man. Sanji also said, with our current strength, it is not their opponent. Luffy's face was full of dissatisfaction. He is the man who wants to become the Pirate King, why should he run away when he encounters a strong man? But no matter how unwilling, Luffy didn't want to die in vain, nor did he want his friends to be hurt. Luffy made a decision clenched his fists and said, get out of here, go to the new world, we're going to be stronger, so strong that we don't have to run away like today, kid gang, here Luffy, kid scoffed, the straw hat boy who is not afraid of the sky and the earth has chosen to run away, so let's slip too, say it, the straw hat crew and kid went away decisively, but before they took two steps, two huge robots stood in front of their respective teams, what is this, mecha, ad, no matter what it is, a pile of scrap metal, dead to block Lao Tzu's way. Kid grinned. Countless metals suddenly gathered towards his right arm, forming a mechanical arm that was more than 10 meters long. Go to hell. Kid waved his robotic arm and hit the Cybertronians. Clang. Cybertron stars are also made of metal, and the metal hits the metal, making a harsh crashing sound. Kid smiled proudly. It's solved. This guy is not very good, but the voice has not yet fallen. His robotic right arm suddenly exploded. A pulse of energy shot straight into his face. Kid was horrified. Fortunately, Kira reacted in time raised her knives, and blocked in front of Kid. Boom. The energy pulse sent by the Cybertronians directly blasted Kira out. Kid's eyes are split. Kira. But he didn't have time to check Kira's condition, because the Cybertronian suddenly switched from mesh form to beast form, rushing towards Kid at a very fast speed. The mecha form is suitable for long-range attacks, while the beast form is more conducive to melee combat. In the Battle of Punk Hazard, only five Cybertronians crushed ten pacifists. As for the rookies like Kid and Straw Hat, even a pacifist in the original book can't beat them, let alone Cybertronians. Under the ruthless attack of the Cybertronians, Kid's gang and Straw Hat crew were in danger, and they soon saw blood. It's only a matter of time before you lose and get killed. Pluton Rayleigh's face changed greatly, and he was burning with anxiety. Liu Xing, while indifferently competing with Rayleigh for conquerors, said with a chuckle, I'm so sorry, I forgot to mention that I brought three more robots. But looking at this situation, the child of destiny you believe can't even beat the robot I invented. 99. Not only can't beat it, every move and every move of the Cybertronians can kill Straw Hat Luffy. However, the attack of Straw Hat crew could not break the defense of the Cybertronians at all. Devil's Foot. Blackfoot Sanji kicked the Cybertronians' head fiercely, but it didn't cause the slightest effect. What the hell is this, so hard? Frankie said, it's a Cybertronian, a terrifying robot that can transform. 35. Frankie is a transforming man himself and he is also interested in invention. Add, especially when Liu Oxing robbed his Pluton drawings. He paid more attention to all the news about Liu Oxing in the newspaper, so he recognized the Cybertronians. Damn, I can't beat this guy no matter what. Straw Hat Luffy felt powerless for the first time since he went to sea. I feel my weakness more deeply. The other party only sent a robot, which forced him into a desperate situation. If this goes on, what kind of pirate king is he? Rayleigh probably won't last long when he sees Luffy, and will no longer fight Liu Oxing against conquerors. He stomped his feet on the ground and swept his body towards the Straw Hat crew, trying to take out the Cybertronians for them. Hey, old man, I heard that you are also a master swordsman, come to be my opponent, and test my cultivation results. 9. The three knives suddenly flashed in front of Rayleigh, and the green algae head grinned. Three sword stream, beauty demon, sleepless night, demon slash, 35. A terrifying sword energy slashed towards Rayleigh. The black hair flow is like a ghost. Rayleigh's pupils shrink. The ghost flow swordsmanship. That is the second generation ghost, it's really rare. However, all those Aura's sword skills are strong. He is not afraid of Pluton Rayleigh. Rayleigh said, young ghost swordsman, I don't have time to spend with you now. As he spoke, Rayleigh drew his sword. The high level armament Harkia mission is covered on the sword, which pushes Zora back. Zora took a few steps back, not surprised but delighted. What a powerful force, as expected of a man called Pluton, who is just right to be my opponent. According to the normal development of the plot, Zora can't beat Rayleigh no matter what and Rayleigh's sword just now is enough to kill him instantly. But now Zora is different. He ate dragon-level monster cells and practiced in the gravity room for so many days. Regarding Haki, Liu Oxing personally guided him. His strength, even if not comparable to Rayleigh, would not be too far behind. Ghost Chi, Nine Swords, Ashura, Magic Nine Flashes. Zora took a three-headed six-armed stance and charged at Rayleigh again. 
facing the strong ghost and sword aura emanating from the Nine Sword Stream, Rayleigh did not dare to deal with it like he did just now. He didn't dare to be careless, so he had to stop, holding swords in both hands, waiting for Zoro's Nine Swordsmanship. The other end, Enel grumbled disapprovingly. Dot that green algae head is too good at grabbing merit. He is playing so hot, how can I let Lao Tzu intervene? 35. Add. Zora and Rayleigh fought fiercely, and Enel's thunder had no room to intervene. Liu Xing looked at Enel and said, It's about time for you to come out, don't lose my face. Enel was still puzzled at first. But then his heart reeled, and he sensed a group of uninvited guests from the coast of Seibadi. Enel rejoiced. Don't worry, young master. The Empress came to Liu Xing at this time and said with her beautiful eyes full of love, it should be Marine and the government guys, concubine, go and clean them up for you. Liu Xing just killed three celestial dragons calmly for her, and Hancock has completely fallen. Even if Liu Xing turned against the world government and didn't want the title of Seven Warlords of the Sea, she didn't care at all. Liu Xing held Hancock's jade hand and said, it's not yet time for you and Marine to turn against each other, just watch by your side later. Being held by Liu Xing's big hand, the Empress felt a burst of dizziness and happiness swelling up in her heart. She nodded obediently like a little girl. Concubine, did Zhao listen to you? The coast of Seibadi land, the comers are Kizaru, Crane, Bear and other marines, as well as several CP0 members. Oh, I sensed a very powerful shock wave. This battle is really not easy. 99, Kizaru said with a crooked mouth. Crane glanced at Kizaru and reminded, Pelusino, don't forget that Sengoku promised you a raise. You can't be like Punk Hazard this time! Exclamation mark 99. Kizaru said in a righteous manner. Of course, the old man is the absolute guardian of justice. 55. Crane was speechless. You are also the absolute guardian of justice, who in Marine does not know that your justice is ambiguous. You're just looking at the salary increase that Sengoku promised. CP0 Old Avenue. Anyway, fellow Marines, this time we have to work together to destroy Liu Xing. The Five Emperors. This is the Order of the Five Elders. The crowd set foot on Seibadi's land. Several powerhouses planned to take the lead and let the ordinary sea soldiers line up behind to keep up as soon as possible. And the first to act was none other than Tyrant Bear. The bear senses that the dragon's son is in danger. Looking at the bear's back, Kizaru sighed inexplicably. Looks like the bear wants to have a big fight too. 159. Top Battle. Thunderfruit vs Flashfruit 800 million volts Thunder Unicorn Add Bartholimukuma is a Paramecia meatball fruit capable. The ability of this fruit is very buggy. It can not only bounce back any attack from the enemy, but even eject the pain and fatigue in the human body and transfer it to others. Although the size of the bear is huge, under the elasticity of the meatball fruit, it can easily teleport, and the speed is very fast. He soon arrived at the slave auction. Kizaru, the boss of CP0, and the crane followed, seeing Shikai Bukai. Marine Admiral, CP0, and Marine veterans from the previous generation come together. The supernovas all gasped. Capone begins decisive without saying a word. In fact, he was the fastest runner, and had been stumbling back a long time ago. After all, he is a gangster, and his perception of danger is still very keen. Jewelry Bonnie shrank his neck when he saw the bear, Crane and others. She has some inexplicable relationship with Xa, Marine, and the world government which would be troublesome if discovered. Jewelry Bonnie used his ability to turn himself into a little girl of seven or eight years old, shuttled through the crowd and disappeared without a trace. On the roof, except for Drake, Arp, Aerouge, and Hawkins all beat drums in their hearts. More and more big men appeared, and their situation became more and more dangerous. Our survival rate is now only 30%. Hawkins rode. Aerouge laughed. The legendary five emperors Liu Oxing, Pluton Rayleigh, plus Marine Admiral, CP0 and Shikai Bukai. What an exciting time for so many big people to gather together. Even if you die, you can rest your eyes. From the conversations of Rayleigh, Frankie and others, they had already learned the true identity of Liu Oxing, and they were all astonished. No wonder he can easily compete with Pluton Rayleigh conquerors, it turned out to be the mysterious five emperors at sea. For this man, Marine sent a luxurious lineup such as Admiral and CP0, it is not surprising at all. Apu's eyes flickered. He didn't know what the hell was going on, and said, I don't want to die yet. In my heart, I was thinking, the beast's pirates are now the strongest for Emperor's group, even the celestial dragons dare to kill, and even marine in the world government are not afraid at all. Only such a pirate group can finally ascend to the throne. As in the original book, Apu seems to have already planned to join the hundred beasts. With the arrival of marine's powerful fighting force, the situation became increasingly tense and delicate. Even Rayleigh couldn't help but feel restless. Add, a group of beasts already made him unable to escape, and now marine is here again along with at least two admiral-level characters. Now, he's unsure of Luffy's completeness. But Marine's arrival isn't all bad. The threat of Luang Liu Oxing to the world government is obviously higher than that of Luffy. The first task of Marine and CPO should be to capture the fifth Emperor Liu Crossing. In this way, Rayleigh may be able to fish in troubled waters and rescue Straw Hat Luffy. 
But something unexpected happened to Rayleigh. It wasn't him who was the first to rescue Luffy, but the Bartholomew Bear from Shikibukai. I saw some teleport and came to the Cybertron star who pushed the Straw Hats into a desperate situation. With a slap of the palm, the Cybertron star was about to fly away, in no mood. The third Cybertron, launched a pulse of energy in the air. The bear had no choice but to change the direction of his palm and aim the meat ball at the energy pulse. Boom. The energy pulse was bounced off, causing a huge explosion in the distance. Whoops. I've seen the Cybertronian again, and its maker, Liu Xing. The five emperors greater than Dr. Vegapunk. The old man must be ashamed. Motivated by the tenfold increase in Sengoku's salary, Kizaru is not going to fish this time. He came up and made a big move. Eight feet joint Omo. This is a large scale including Liu Oxing, Rayleigh, Supernova and others. Countless light bombs fell from the sky like a downpour. Liu Oxing's eyes narrowed slightly, it's so dazzling. Enel said, young master. Don't worry, I'll clean up that flashy bastard. 99. 200 million volts thunder tiger. Seeing him rushing straight to Kizaru, thunder surging all over his body. A huge thunder tiger rubbed out of his hands, roaring and rushing towards Bukid Junt Omo. Enel's thunder fruit has also evolved with the addition of dragon level monster cells. Originally, he could only use a maximum of 200 million volts. But now it has increased to a billion volts. 200 million volts has become a small big move that can be issued at will. The huge thunder tiger completely offset the countless light bombs. Kizaru was visibly taken aback. Is it the Lodia thunder fruit capable person? This is the first time such a strong person has appeared. I didn't expect to be recruited by the hundred beasts. It's really tricky. 35. Add. Crane and the boss of CP0 also did not expect Liu Oxing to have such a powerful fighting force. Originally, the information they got was that Liu Oxing only brought two attendants. Those two attendants were not well known little people, not the famous three disasters or flu bao. Therefore, the five elders believed that with Admiral and CPO dispatched, Liu Oxing could be eliminated. Unexpectedly, although the two followers were not famous, their strength was terrifying. A three sword swordsman, who can actually fight with Pluton Rayleigh. The other is actually a powerful Logia Thunder Fruit capable, comparable to Admiral Kizaru's Glitter Fruit. Things are getting in trouble. Bife, he sighed, she knew that the five Emperor Liu Oxing was not so easy to deal with. After all, she was the first big marine who fought against the beasts, and the first marine veteran who suffered a big loss from the monster cell invented by Liu Oxing. At that time, she, who was guarding the gold in the sky, was severely injured by Pijuan and Runty. Enl is unforgiving. After blocking the light bullet, he activated the terrifying thunder again, turning it into a thunder spear in his hand. 300 million volts thunder pike. 35. The thunder spear, which contained a high intensity voltage, pierced the air and came to Kizaru in an instant. Kizaru's mouth crooked, it's scary. Call out. The thunder spear pierced his body, and the violent electric current blew his body into powder. Impossible. Admiral Kizaru is dead. What kind of monsters are Liu Oxing's subordinates? It's terrible. Let's run away. The supernovas were terrified. This level of battle is completely beyond what they can understand now. But how could Kizaru die so easily? The photons converged on the spot, and in a blink of an eye, they recondensed into Kizaru's unharmed figure. Yata Mira. Kizaru's hands were facing each other, and the dazzling golden light blazed out and reflected a channel in the air. Kizaru followed the passage of light, came behind Enl in an instant, touched his chin and said, Speed is power. Have you ever seen a flash kick? A bare foot landed on Enl's flank. Enl was shocked not expecting this flash bastard to be so fast. Add, fortunately, the dragon level monster cells have also greatly increased his physical skills, and Enel's response is fairly timely. He hurriedly covered his body with layers of thunder armor. 500 million volts thunder armor. Whoosh. Enel was directly kicked out by Kizaru's flash kick. Boom. Countless buildings were torn down, and smoke and dust scattered all over the sky. Enel was disgraced. But fortunately he was protected by the thunder armor, so he was not injured. But shame is inevitable, because he had promised Liu Oxing many times before that he would not embarrass the young master. Damn flash bastard, I must kill him. Enel turned into anger, turned into a thunderbolt and rushed to the sky. Wow, dark clouds began to gather, containing some kind of terrifying heavenly might. Kizaru, who had been lazy all the time, became solemn. Thunderstorm, isn't this guy trying to destroy the entire Sabadi? At the other end, CP0, who was about to shoot Liu Oxing, had to stop and look up at the sky. Thunder fruit that can control thunder is a really troublesome ability. The five elders had previously instructed CP0 to try their best to find thunder fruit, but thunder fruit had already been eaten by Enla's Sky Island. CP0 has been searching for many years, but has not found any clues. Click. A heavy, dull thunder sounded in the depths of the dark clouds, making everyone below feel a shock. The kid, Straw Hat Crew, Arp, Uroj, Hawkins, Drake and other supernovas all turned pale. In front of such terrifying heavenly might. They seem too insignificant. Ha 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 ha. I saw Enel standing in the middle of the thunder, laughing wildly. You bastards who dare to defy the young master, all of you will die for Lao Tzu. 800 million volts Kyrian. Under the guidance of Enel, 
The infinite thunder slowly condensed into a thunder unicorn with a size of hundreds of meters. The unicorn of thunder roared, swung its teeth and danced its claws, and with an outrageous attitude, swooped down from the sky, facing Kizaru, CP0 and other marines, including the supernovas with pale faces. 160. Straw Hat Luffy faces a life and death crisis. Liu Xing's Purgatory Cross ad and Uz Unicorn of Thunder reminds Liu Xing of a certain two pillars in the world of Hokage. However, compared to the lightning style Chiron of the second pillar, Enl, the Unicorn of Thunder, is obviously bigger and more powerful. Raw, the Unicorn of Thunder, which was hundreds of meters tall, charged down wildly, and the thunder that spilled out scorched the towering trees on Sebadi's ground. It's horrible. Thunder fruit, Kizaru said with a crooked mouth. It is really difficult to say whether light and thunder are stronger or weaker. Then let the old man test, which one is stronger, glitter fruit or thunder fruit? 55. Kizaru squeezed his hands together, facing the unicorn of thunder, and released Omo, the eight footed Kyan again. And this time, Omo's countless light bullets have greater range and power than before. Let me help you too, Pole Slino. 35. The unicorn of thunder also includes the members of CPO and the old nature of CPO can't watch it. This person is a pinnacle of physique type and has cultivated Marine 6 styles to a level of perfection, no weaker than Marine Admiral. I saw the CPO boss lift his leg and swipe into the air. Tempest kick. A hundred Jang sword wave burst out, along with Kizaru's countless light bullets, it collided with the Thunder Chiron. Boom. The golden light and blue electric light, coupled with the Tempest kick sword wave, caused an unimaginable terrifying explosion. A little white light spread out from the center of the collision. Buzz. Wherever the white light passes, Everything turns to powder. Two dot 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 two terrifying. The supernovae were stunned. Is this the strength of the world's top powerhouses? They are really far behind. The shockwave caused by such a terrifying explosion was also terrifying. I do not know how many houses and trees were blown down. Zora and Rayleigh's competition, affected by this, also had to stop and retreated to one side. Zora was slightly injured, but his face was full of excitement. His physique is already strong, and with the increase of dragon level monster cells, his physique has even reached monster level. This little injury is nothing at all. In contrast, playing against a peak powerhouse like Pluton Rayleigh is the most important thing. Rayleigh was not injured, but his gasping rate increased significantly. Rayleigh couldn't help but smile bitterly. I really don't want to accept the old man. After playing for such a small meeting, my stamina is not enough. Rayleigh glanced at Zora across from him. Add, Zora reminded him of a man, Douglas Bullet, the heir of the devil who was on the Roger ship. That kid is also a beast like physique, extremely bellicose and has the strength to rival him at a young age, and the Zora in front of me is so similar to the original bullet. Rayleigh looked at Enl, who was like a thunder god in the sky, and finally looked at Liu Oxing, the five emperors who had been calm from beginning to end, and couldn't help but sigh deeply. The future is really a world for young people. It's a pity that these young people are different from his Rayleigh, and the young people that Rayleigh wants to protect is not them. A long time, the sound of the explosion stopped slowly. There was a huge hole hundreds of feet in the ground. Enl felt very embarrassed. He had launched such a mighty attack. Why hasn't he been able to kill the opponent? King High Below Sky Island, why are there so many strong people? Enl once again felt that the former self was really a frog in the bottom of the well. Now that he is with a young master, although he is no longer the supreme god, his strength has been greatly increased, and his vision has also been greatly expanded. It can be considered that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. It's almost time to leave here and take the next step. Liu Xing's eyes flashed slightly. The purpose of his swaggering appearance in Sebadi is to attract the attention of Marine and the world government and to implement the strategy of attacking the West. Now Marine has sent an admiral, and the world government has sent CP0, the strongest guard of celestial dragons. This is estimated to be the most forces that Marine and the world government can send when the Whitebeard pirates are about to attack. Liu Xing's goal has been achieved. There is no need to stop at Sebadi land, but before leaving, he wanted to try if he could kill the so-called child of destiny, Straw Hat Luffy. Although Liu Xing is not a bloodthirsty person, he will never show mercy to someone who will definitely become an enemy. The strategy he pursues has always been that if he doesn't make a move, he will kill them all once he makes a move, leaving no trouble. But here is Pluton Rayleigh, and the revolutionary army card of Tyrant Bear, desperately protecting Straw Hat Luffy. In addition, the positioning of the second uncle Kizaru is also unpredictable. In the original, in the Sebadi archipelago, Kizaru had numerous opportunities to arrest the Straw Hats, but he let them go until Rayleigh came over. In Summit War, Kizaru was able to shoot Luffy's head but deflected at the small key. Even though Luffy was left with blood, he could be killed with a laser shot, but Kizaru kicked Luffy into Whitebeard's hands. After that, the eight-foot stroke jade broke Okiji's ice and let Straw Hat Luffy escape, not to mention. In short, as the Straw Hat Luffy of Destiny Child, 
There are too many auras and buffs on him. Liu Xing's mouth showed a sneer that was half a smile. This kind of fate theory and bloodline theory that is destined by God can really make people feel uncomfortable. Liu Xing moved at an incredible speed. It swept towards Straw Hat Luffy. Rayleigh turned pale in shock, and chased after raising his sword. Stop, stop this old man. Ad, you should stop. Zoro blocked Rayleigh again. Rayleigh was furious. Luffy is facing a life and death crisis, and he can't spend any more time with Zoro. Boy Green Algae, if you don't let go, don't blame the old man for being rude. Facing the threat of Pluton, the right and left hand of One Piece, Zora is not afraid, grinning. That's exactly what I want. Ghost Chi, Nine Sword style, Ashura, wearing power. Rayleigh was helpless. Although he is better than Zora, his old age and physical strength make him unable to defeat Zora in a short time. He could only watch Wu Huang Liu Oxing, getting closer and closer to Straw Hat Luffy. Whoops, the big shot finally shot, but the target is a kid. It's really strange. Kizaru raised his finger and aimed at Liu Oxing. But don't forget the old man's goal, but to destroy you, this is the Order of the Five Elders, the highest authority in the world government. The CPO boss stretched out his finger and planned to use the flying finger pistol to block Liu Oxing together with Kizaru. Hey, hey, you bastards, if you dare to take action against the young master, don't you want to live? Lightning flashed. Enel stood in front of Kizaru and the CP0 boss. The violent thunder surged around him, and his expression was fierce. Billion Volt Thor. Enel's body swelled suddenly, becoming more than ten meters tall gray and white, shining with electric light. Moreover, the Thor's body was also covered with thick thunder armor. With such a solid defense, Enl used the body of Thor to carry Kizaru's laser and the CPO boss's flying finger pistol alive. Ask for flowers. Then, Enl stimulated the cells in the body with electric current, and burst out with amazing speed, like a thunder beast, rushing towards Kizaru and CP0. So fast, the boss of CP0 was shocked, feeling faster than his shaving. Kizaru was also surprised. His flash fruit is known for his speed but Enel's thunder fruit could explode as fast as him. Light and thunder are really indistinguishable. With the restraint of Zora and Enel, Liu Oxing came unimpeded to the frightened straw hats. Don't hurt our captain, you bastard. Devil's foot. Blackfoot Sanji was the first to attack. Liu Oxing slapped it away and said lightly, for the sake of your sister, I'll let you go this time. Sanji, who fell heavily into the ruins in the distance, was immediately stunned. Add, elder sister. There is only one older sister of Sanji, and that is Vinsmoke Middle.Ru. Could it be that this guy has been to the kingdom of Germa and is related to the Vinsmoke villains? Sanji was easily beaten, making the remaining members of the Straw Hats even more frightened. Because Sanji is already among them. The top three combat power. Straw Hat Luffy clenched his fists tightly, full of unwillingness and anger. He is angry at his own weakness. In the face of such a strong man, it is completely powerless. Liu Xing said indifferently, Straw Hat Boy, in fact, for now, you and I have no grievances and no grudges. I want to kill you, just want to try. Is the life of the sun god really that hard? Straw Hat Luffy yells, What nonsense are you talking about? What a sun god. I'm the man who wants to become One Piece. Liu Xing laughed, thinking of Do Flamingo. Yan Mo slowly raised, The last guy who yelled in front of me to be the Pirate King has no ashes left. The vast Haki was absorbed by Yama. In the air, there is the flow of black lightning. This is Conqueror's twist. Rayleigh's pupils shuddered and his heart was burning. That five Emperor Liu Oxing, was he going to kill Luffy with the top-level tyrannical sword technique? Isn't this Luffy sure to die? Rayleigh couldn't care less about stalemate with Zora, he also used Conqueror's entanglement, which knocked Zora into the air. Then he rushed to Liu Oxing without stopping, shouting, Stop! If you want to fight, fight with the old man. As the right hand of One Piece Roger, Pluton Rayleigh of course also entangles Conquerors, which is not surprising. Just judging from Rayleigh's aging body, it's not easy for him to play bully. Another example is the white beard on the top, not to mention bullying, even the use of haki is very difficult. No way, in the world of pirates, the only person who could not weaken due to old age is probably only the grandfather of Straw Hat Luffy, Marine here got the fist. Rayleigh used a tying entanglement, and the speed at this time has been greatly reduced. It is impossible for him to arrive before Liu Oak Sing's sword move. At this critical moment, the revolutionary army Kada, Shikai Bukai Bathali Mukima, Use the meatball fruit ability to teleport to the opposite of Liu Oxing, blocking in front of the straw hat Luffy. Xung stretched out his hands covered with flesh balls, as if planning to fly Liu Oxing's sword skill. Liu Oxing's expression was still indifferent, and he spit in his mouth. Purgatory Cross. Two black sword lights from hell shot out. Gwing. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.